you don't see our way up, I will do a dear. And there are two months in the pool. So you come out, also do a good one, and you're not far. And I got to do a good one. You go to my dear little tell, and what you have not far, I'm very happy to do me. Uh, yesterday we approved at the uh, ESCO uh, the 2021 budget for your state and they will take it to the House of Assembly hopefully uh, on Monday. I will go there and lay the budget uh, down. She go and wait on go that we don't know do it. I will take a call. Uh, when the story of the Western Nigeria Security Network could name Amataku is told, it will be on record that it was officially launched on January 9, 2020. However, the Amataku journey began earlier. In July 2019, the six states of the Southwest Nigeria, namely Ekiti, Lagos, Ogun, Ondo, Oshu, and Oyo states agreed to set up this outfit. Amataku is indeed a force of its kind security agency because it is a regional security outfit initiated by one of Nigeria's six geopolitical zones. History will also state that the headquarters is here in Ibadan or your state. Since its founding, we have been taking steps to ensure that the security outfit kicks off operation. In March 2020, the Ohio State House of Assembly passed the Ohio State Security Network Agency Bill 2020, which I signed into law a few days later. Although COVID-19 and all other logistical issues delay the recruitment process, we ran an open and transparent recruitment process that culminated in announcing the 1,500 successful candidates' names in October 2020. Uh, shortly after that, the attorney began in the first week of November, and today, we're here to witness the passing out parade of the pioneer members of the Amateku Corps. And the Ripa Performance Zimon, Oda Abikoda. Our security has always been an issue uh, close to my heart. Uh, while on the campaign trail, I spoke about how we could tackle insecurity in Oyo State. We outlined clear plans in our manifesto, the roadmap to accelerated development in Oyo State, 2019 to 2023. And so when we came into office, we went ahead to make security one of the pillars of our administration. Our actions have been based on the fact that if our state is insecure, we cannot attract investments, whether foreign or local. So far, we have supported our federal security outfits who do their best to protect our people. We provided them with communication gadgets and patrol vehicles. More recently, we requested for and established just this past May 2020 the Police Mobile Force 72 Squadron at Aguare and we, all, we presented them with patrol vehicles for the outfit operation. 
And we have also requested from the Inspector General of Police another mobile police squadron that will be based here in Oyo town. But as I have argued on various fora, for governors to really play the role of chief security officers of their states, state policing is the way forward. I am confident that someday we will get enough support at the national level to achieve that constitutional review. But for now, we will settle for the next best thing the Western Nigeria Security Network could name Amatekun. It's an independent outfit. Members will answer to the state governors, but they will be working with the federal security agencies. Some of the primary functions of the Amatekun Corps, as authorized by law, include collaborating with and assisting the Nigerian police and other security agencies in gathering information. They will be involved in crime prevention, in investigation of crime, arrest and prosecution of persons suspected of kidnapping, terrorism, destruction of livelihood, criminal damage to property, courtism, highway robbery, uh, and any other illegal activities. They will also be involved in routine day and night patrols on major roads and remote areas. Members of this corps will be drafted to all the 351 wards in Oyo State. They will be our own community police so that their presence will be felt everywhere in Oyo State. This ensures that offenders are quickly identified, arrested, registered, and promptly handed over to the nearest police station or post. As I said during one of my speeches following the NSAS protest, this is one outfit that I can boldly say, and I'm saying it, hold me responsible for the actions of the members. Therefore, let me say to you, well, uh, let me quickly say this. And if I call the Lord, go out the Lord, talk about nothing I do, you do that no more. Therefore, let me state that you, 1,500 pioneers of the Amatekun Corps, that you must remain excellent examples in service. You have to work for the people. You are not called to harass or intimidate the people. Instead, exhibit the highest level of professionalism in the discharge of your duties. Remember that there are limits to your authority and always follow directives from the chain of command. We have appointed two qualified men as chairman and commandant of the Amatekun Corps the persons of retired General Ajibola Kunletogu and retired Colonel Olayanju Olayinka. And we also have other eminent persons on the board. I am confident that under them, the Amatekun Corps will live up to their objectives. As I said during the official launch of this outfit in January 2020, our regional integration through Amatekun should be seen in one light. We are coming together to fight a common enemy. That enemy is not Nigeria. 
The enemies are the elements among us and their affiliates who are determined to cause commotion within our state's borders and threaten our peaceful coexistence. And never again may our invaders our see on your state without a local response from us. Amoteku is our local response. So on this note, I declare the Oyoste Security Network Agency could name Amoteku operational. Thank you.